What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again, and this time I'm coming to you from my new office. And actually, this is one of many new offices that I'll be using over the next few millions of videos that I do. Uh, but this time we're going to talk about the rule of seven, how to align properly and how to make sure your feet are in the right spot. So that way you can get the ball to go from point A to point B a lot easier. So stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're going to talk about the rule of seven. I get asked about this an awful lot because it's not the easiest thing to explain. And until now, uh, I wasn't really good at attempting to explain it. So even now, I might not be good at it. So we're going to try to explain it anyway. So the rule of seven is all about trying to get your feet lined up properly to make sure the ball can go from point A to point B. And you know if you slide in this specific spot and you hit your target, that's exactly where it's going to go. So you should be able to, even before you're warmed up, you should be able to make exactly the shot. If you hit your target, you know where the ball is going to go. Um, so with that being said, the rule of seven is about the center of your face to the shoulder. So there's about seven boards from the center of your face to the center of your shoulder, or about seven inches because each board is just a pinch over an inch wide. Um, so uh, for that, you have to get the ball to be by your ankle, and that's where the swing comes into play. If the swing's not straight and if the ball's not by your ankle, um, we can't take those seven boards into account. So it's just going to be different for every person because everybody's swing is different and everybody's body is different. So it may be six, it may be five, it may be eight, maybe 10. It's all different for you. It depends on what you have. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is you're going to try to play straight up 10. So in order to play straight up 10, I want you to start by standing on 17. Now you're going to stand on the approach and you're going to look at this and you're going to say, no way, there's no way. If I hit 10, it's going to probably go towards the seven pin because it looks shut down from you because our perception of how we see the lane changes from the back of the approach to the front. So if I put my feet here on about 20 or 17, you can see in the diagram, now that angle looks like it's going to go a little bit to the right, uh, which it should. It'd be a little bit to the right, heading towards the 10 pin. And now if I move my feet to the front of the foul line and hit that same target, now all of a sudden it looks like it's going to be steeper. It's going to go right in the gutter. Uh, and that's because of how our perception changed from the distance behind to where the foul line is. So we need to take that into consideration. And that's why so many people walk to the right is because they stand up and they say, okay, this looks good. And then they start walking to the line and they see that line getting steeper where they want the ball to go. And so they start walking back right to, to kind of cut that line off and make it go straighter up the lane instead. So you, you start to get that natural drift to the right. So we want to kind of fix that by making sure we're lined up properly. So in order to play straight up 10, we have to slide at about 17. It may be 16, it may be 18. You need to test this for yourself. If you slide on 17 and you hit 10 and the ball gets to eight down lane, then you need to move your feet another board to the right. So the number would actually be six for you. But for wherever you stand, if I, for me, if I stand on 17 and I hit 10, it's going to stay straight up 10. It's never going to go right up 10. So if I want to, now the rule is for every board I move my feet to the left, the ball is going to travel two more boards to the right. And I know that doesn't make sense, but trust me on this. It's been tested. That is the rule. That is the number. And that's how it works because of how the angles work. So if I move my feet to 18 and I hit 10, now the ball is going to travel to eight down lane. If I move my feet to 19 and I hit 10, now the ball is going to travel to six down lane. See where I'm getting at with this? So we kind of have to do the math based on where we want to go. So what if we want to hit like say 15 to five? Well, now we have to stand on uh, 15. We're going to move our feet seven left. So 22, and now we have to get it to five. So we need the ball to travel 10 boards to the right. So now we're going to have to move half that distance to the left. So we're going to move five more. So we're going to be standing and sliding on 27. Now, every time you do this, you have to test yourself and you have to try to do it properly. So that way you can get yourself walking straighter again. Now you have to, if you're somebody that walks to the left, that's okay. We need to try and take that drift or that wander, I guess, whatever you want to call it, into consideration for it. So if you walk two to the left normally, then you just take that into consideration with your math. So instead of standing on 17 to go straight up 10, you would stand on 15. I know that some of this is probably a little confusing, but I promise if you go try this, it's going to get you, uh, you're going to feel a whole lot better about it. 
if you start trusting your angles, you're going to now know where the ball's going. And then this will help you also to start walking straighter. If you have an issue with walking straighter, this will help you to kind of correct that a little bit. Uh, so if you really want to correct walking straighter, if you want to try really walking straighter, you have to over-exaggerate it. So if you want to try and really straighten it out, maybe move your feet, stand on, stand on 10, and get yourself to walk to 17. I mean, that'll get you walking left, and that will then kind of correct that. You have to over-exaggerate something to kind of correct the bad habit that you had. So whatever you need to do to get yourself to finish on 17 to play straight up 10, figure that number out, and then you can kind of go from there. And start making small adjustments and watching where the ball goes based on the numbers that you do. Move your feet one left, hit the same target, and watch where it travels to. Now, I know... We're not going to hit our target every single time, but this is perfect practice for you to really target practice and understand playing the lanes front to back, getting the ball to go from point A to point B. So be on the lookout. I'm going to do a video here shortly. I'm going to go to one of the centers locally, and we're going to shoot a video about playing the lanes front to back and understanding how to get your ball to go from point A to point B by looking at it front to back rather than left to right. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have questions, be sure. I got a little bit more free time now, so I'm going to try to answer as a little bit more, more questions that I can. But if you have big questions or big long answers that you need, uh, go ahead and email me at betterbowlingfitness at gmail.com, and I'll try to get to them as quick as I can. If you haven't signed up for the Mug Club yet, make sure to head over to lifestractioncontrol.com. Every time I do a podcast, the Mug Club members are invited to come on live. You can ask questions. You can uh, dispute anything I say. Whatever you want to do. You want to just call me an idiot. Uh, you'll probably get blocked for doing that because I don't want to interfere with everybody else. But, you know, you have that opportunity. So go get your mug. Go purchase your mug. Get your mug uh, in the next couple of days. We're going to do another podcast and we're going to start doing them weekly. So in every podcast, I give away a free bowling ball. So um, make sure you're involved so that way you have your chance to win. I think right now we have 80 members, so we're going to kind of continue to grow that because this is going to be what I do. Um, and I want to thank the sponsors that I have for these videos and uh, make sure to head over and see if anything, any of the other videos can help. So subscribe to this channel and uh, we will see you guys next time.